Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite rose on Monday, lifted by a rebound in chip stocks and tech names. The broad market index added 0.57%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq gained 1.05%. Meanwhile, the Dow Jones Industrial Average advanced 26.23 points, or 0.07%. NVIDIA closed 7.1% higher, marking a turnaround for the chip giant after it sold off 8.5% last week. Shares got a boost after Morgan Stanley reiterated NVIDIA as a top pick ahead of earnings. Chip stocks across the board also jumped, with the Van Eck Semiconductor ETF up 3%, though it is still down more than 6% in August. And MasterCard has agreed to take a minority stake in the financial technology business of MTN Group, Africa's biggest wireless carrier, sending the telecom company's stock up the most in three months. Anticipating the upcoming week now, we may find the trajectory of this week shaped by re revelations about the condition of the US consumer, as earnings announcements are expected from Home Depot, Target and Walmart. Additionally, retail sales data for July is scheduled for release on Tuesday morning. The earnings reports are coming after a mixed batch of inflation reports last week, which show that the price increase have eased from their post-pandemic peak, but are still above the Federal Reserve's 2% target. In commodity-related news, Cereal Resources, the biggest graphite producer outside of China, aims to restart its African mine as Chinese graphite inventory drops, expecting increased demand later in the year due to reduced Chinese supply. China's production is largely seasonal and its summer production tends to finish by November, the CEO said in an interview. Turning to US sectors, tech was the best performer following the rebound from chip stocks, whilst utilities was the worst performer. The SPY futures are pointing to a flat start. Thank you for listening.